Hi, I'm Dr. Anthony Malouf of Eyes and Faces Corneal and Ocular Plastic Surgery in Sydney. It is absolutely possible to rub yourself blind and you don't need to see a priest because of it. You go blind for a very simple reason. The eye is a round structure. It is not a marble, so it's not solid. It's soft like a grape. And when you rub it, you deform it. And over time, that deformity becomes permanent. So the lens of the eye becomes permanently deformed. Like imagine getting an iPhone with a deformed lens and you wouldn't get an image. You'd take it back to Apple immediately. You're doing it to yourself over time as you rub the eye. And that can send you blind. Blindness is a very interesting uh, word. It, it's an emotive word. It makes people really, really unhappy. But basically, we define blindness as if you can't read the top letter of, your, of the eye chart. So the top letter right up the top, you're having trouble reading it, you're blind. 2020 is down the bottom. How do you rub the eye? Very simple. There are six different ways of doing it. The first way, top of the finger like this, and you rub across like that. That's type one. Type two is the knuckle, side of the hand. Sticking it right in there and going for a deep rub. Most of you will be familiar with that. Type three is the palm. You sit there on your palm. Type four is the back of the hand, like that. Type five is the shoulder, like that. And type six occurs at night time. Either face in the pillow, face on your hand, or actual rubbing at night time. So people rub many different ways. Rubbing causes a whole host of problems. But the most common ones that people notice are, and for women take note, wrinkles. If you want premature wrinkles, keep rubbing. If you want the cheapest beauty treatment, stop rubbing. It also causes watery eye, droopy eyelids, inflammation and redness. It causes a whole host of problems. There are a whole host of causes of rubbing and there are many different ways they present. If you want to find out more, click the link on the screen. If you've lost vision from rubbing, close to blindness or even not far off it, you might need surgery. If you want to find out what, what to do, click again on the screen and we'll take you through that. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Anthony Maloof of Eyes and Faces, Cornea and Oculoplastic Surgery in Sydney.